What's up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. This week I thought it would be really fun to do a week of my life as a nurse. I think the last time I did this video I was a postpartum nurse and now I work in the operating room. I've been working in the operating room for about six weeks now and I am loving it. I love being on a day shift schedule. My life is just like completely different now. I moved and started a new job all in a span of like two weeks. So yeah, I thought it would be fun this week to just show you guys a little week in my life, how things are going. I do have a six month orientation. Um, it's pretty lengthy just because the operating room, we do so many different surgeries and there's so much to learn. So I'm currently in the peri-op part of the program. Um, if you're familiar with nursing or if you're familiar with the operating room, um, most people who start in the operating room can't just jump right into it. There is a program that you have to go through before you can start working in it so yeah that's where I'm at right now um, I just got back from the grocery store so I thought I would show you guys all the things that I got for this week I am really trying to kickstart my healthy eating again I know it's like right before the holidays so we'll see how consistent I can be with this but I feel really motivated and inspired this week to just eat really well so I thought I would show you guys a little grocery haul and then yeah, we're gonna do all of the prepping of the vegetables and fruit and everything so that it is easier throughout the week to just grab and go, so. All right, don't mind my apple cider donuts from Trader Joe's. Uh, they're my guilty pleasure and I just had to go for them this week. But here is an overview of all the groceries I got. Starting over here, we've got some green beans. And I also picked up some baby spinach as well as a spring mix. And then we've got some egg whites, pistachios, uh, I got some baby bell mushrooms, blueberries were on sale this week, I got a huge thing of strawberries, some coffee creamer, I got a new blender bottle because my other one got ruined in the dishwasher at my old apartment, so I saw that just hanging on a rack and I just had to grab it. And then for meats this week, I got cod, and then I've wanted to try, I am a huge fan of Sydney Adams, I am like so in love with her like healthy eating and everything that she stands for so i have never heard of tuna steaks until i started following her so i wanted to give it a go this week i don't know how to prepare it so we will be doing some research on that and then i just got some ground turkey we've also got some small tortillas just for breakfast um, burritos and maybe even tacos this week. I also got this Hue Salty Dark Chocolate. I have heard such good things about this chocolate. I am a huge dark chocolate person. If you know me, you know I love it. So I wanted to give this brand a try. I also got some taco seasoning, avocados, tomato, a couple of bell peppers, some green grapes because green grapes are my favorite. I got some brown rice. I also got the Siggy's Simple Ingredient Yogurt. I have never tried this yogurt before. I am not gonna lie, I am not the biggest yogurt fan, but I'm really trying to get into it because I know that some of them are really, really good for you. So we're gonna give it a try this week. I also got some bananas, a cucumber, and some pumpkin seeds. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I am gonna go ahead and start washing everything and getting it into containers so that it's ready to go for the week. You guys, I just have to show you how satisfying my fridge is right now. It is the start of the week and I feel so motivated. Um, so in the back here, I just have some potatoes, cucumbers, bell peppers, mushrooms, tomatoes, onion, and then in the back there is green beans. We've got some sourdough bread, and then strawberries are cut up, grapes, and blueberries. And then over here, I just have the things that you can't really um, actually cut up. And so I just have it in a little bin here. Down here we've got the meats. Um, I've always been told you should keep your meats in the bottom of the fridge just in case they were to leak. It would not 
um, contaminate the rest of your food. So over in this one, we just have some bagels and some cookies and what else is in here? Um, the tortillas. On the top shelf, I just have some eggs. I've got the spinach and spring mix, yogurt, some pasta in the back there, and then applesauce and some cut up cucumbers and bell peppers there. And then on this side, we've got the egg whites, like I had said that I bought earlier, the coffee creamer. I need to go to the store and get some more water, but yeah, the fridge is all stacked and ready to go for the week. All right, good morning, you guys. It is the next day, it is Monday. It is a work from home day for me. So I went ahead and finished the modules that I needed to for my online class for the Periot program today. I'm sorry if you hear him in the background, but I think I'm gonna go get Starbucks and I really need to get an oil change today. Um, I've needed to get it. I'm like 1100 miles over, which is so bad. But yeah, I think that's gonna be our plan for the morning. It is currently, 10:30, so I'm still getting the day started pretty early here. I woke up at like 7 Brady and I went on like a 40 minute walk and yeah, we're just gonna keep going with the day you guys This line for Starbucks today is absolutely absurd. I am I think one two three four five six seven eight nine eleven cars deep right now like I don't know if that's normal for everywhere, but oh my goodness I didn't think that on a Monday at like 10.45, I'm sorry if you can hear my blinker on, but um, I didn't think a Monday at like 10.45 it would be this busy, but I guess it is. All right, you guys, I couldn't do this look fun anymore. It was hurting my head so much, but I wanted to show you, I went ahead and made the tuna steak. I have not tried it yet. This will be my first impressions of it. I also made some rice, green beans, and a little salad. So we are gonna give it a go. I'm really nervous because it doesn't look all the way cooked, but I followed exactly, like I looked up a YouTube video and this is how it said to make it. So we're gonna give it a try. Okay, it's actually really, really good. I do like it. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself because it did not take very long. This whole thing took me about 25 minutes. Um, the biggest thing was waiting. I took the tuna steak right out of the fridge. So I wanted to make sure that the guy was saying in the video not to try and like shock the meat, if that makes sense. You wanna like make it, cause I took it out of the fridge and it was super cold. You wanna take it out, let it become almost like room temperature before you put it on a hot pan because it just is safer for it and it cooks more effectively. So that's what I ended up doing. This is really, really good. I will definitely be getting it in the future. But yeah, it is currently, <coughs> oh goodness. It's currently six o'clock, so I'm gonna eat dinner and then I'm probably gonna go on a evening walk with Brady And yeah, I will check in with you guys in a little while, but I'm sure you don't want to listen to me eat so All right, you guys it is currently 9 15 and I thought I would just end off the first night of this week in my life kind of talking about my new job how I've been feeling um, and everything in that regard I know that I posted a video. It was probably about a month ago um, and it was all about my last week as a postpartum nurse and I shared how I'd been feeling about just making the change and how nervous I was just really worried about um, obviously fear of the unknown and I just wanted to give a little update on that so today is Monday like I said and today was the start of week seven in um, the OR and I truly just have to say that it was the best decision that I ever made moving from labor and delivery postpartum to the OR and I want to talk about it for a variety of different reasons. Um, the first one being that I was truly struggling so, so much on night shift. I only worked three nights a week, but it truly, I feel like, just consumed so much of my life. And I feel like every day that I had off, I was trying to bounce back and forth between, you know, changing back to a day schedule. And I just never felt rested and I never felt like I had a life outside of work simply because every time i was off i was just so worried about if i was getting enough sleep and when i would have to bounce back again and it was just like honestly just so miserable for me and i know that there are some night shift nurses out there that truly love it and thrive on nights and i envy you so much um, i was just not one of those people and so 
yeah i mean that was the main reason for moving was just because i felt on night shift that i just could not be myself and i just felt so drained all the time and i just needed a change and the next one being the fact that i had expressed concerns um, about wanting to go to day shift before I even went to night shift. Um, I don't think I really shared this on here because I wasn't really posting at the time, but the unit that I worked on as a new grad in labor and delivery postpartum, I also worked as a certified nursing assistant while going to nursing school. And so they were very familiar with who I was. I was an employee on that floor before even becoming a nurse. And I was an employee on day shift, so I just, I made it very clear that I really wanted to go to days and one of the things that was really um, a determining factor for me was the fact that there were a couple other nurses that came onto my unit after me and got day shift positions before I did and I'm not really going to get too much into that but um, the second point I just somewhat wanted to address is the fact that I truly just feel so much more taken care of by the company that I work for now and I know it's only been about seven weeks and a lot can change during that time or a lot can happen you know over the course of my experience working there but just truly as a whole I feel so much more taken care of as an employee and that is like a big deal when it comes to you know Work being so much of your life, you really want to feel as though, you know, you're taken care of and you feel like the people who you're working for care about your well-being and you're not just a number. And so I felt at times um, working for the other place that I did that I was just another nurse um, that was so easily replaceable. And although, yes, there are a lot of nurses out there, um, it's important for you to feel valued and to feel like, you know, you're supported in the way that you needed to be supported. Postpartum labor and delivery was like my dream job when I was in nursing school. All I wanted to do was work with mom and baby and I am so grateful for that experience the last, you know, 15 months that I got the opportunity to do it. I truly would not trade it for the world. I miss the job so, so much, but I'm also just so much happier and I feel as though my work-life balance is so much better. And so although I don't get the opportunity to work in that area anymore, I feel so much happier now than I ever did there. And that is something that I wanted to, you know, say and give an update on. And if you are someone who has been contemplating um, whether it be a job or a relationship or a friendship or whatever it may be and you're nervous to make the switch or change something i highly encourage you to you know really think about what it is that you want and sometimes it can end up being the best decision that you ever make so yeah i think i'm gonna end it off here for tonight i'm gonna take brady out one more time to go to the bathroom and then i will pick up tomorrow it is currently 10 15 and i didn't really update today just because it was kind of like a kind of crazy day actually um i had to get up for work at like 4 45 which is really hard for me coming from nights i'm still kind of adjusting to that and then i just worked from 6 30 to 3 today and then i came home i went and grabbed brady we went on a walk i spent some time with my family so it was kind of a busy day so i apologize that i did not get the chance to really like update today but some days during the week i do like to do this i wanted to talk a little bit about the schedule that i'm on right now just because it's really different than what i was on before so i'm currently i think i've said this over and over again i'm on orientation um, and during orientation they require us to do uh five eight hour shifts which has been honestly such an adjustment for me getting up um, for work so so early and getting out at three every day is really nice but working five days a week actually working five days a week i still feel less tired now than i did when i was working three night shifts but it's just been a little bit of an adjustment for sure i have every weekend off which is so nice but those two days go by so so fast so yeah i don't really have a lot to update with tonight um i'm just actually if you can see how bright it is i'm looking on amazon because it is amazon prime day and i want to get some things that I had on my wish list and Christmas is right around the corner so I mean yeah there's a few things that I've been looking at but it really wasn't too exciting of a day so I'll probably just update you guys again tomorrow all right you guys uh, it is Wednesday now 
I just got back from work. I went ahead and curled my hair um, just because I felt like it, honestly. And I'm going to Sam's Club right now with my mom um, to get myself a Sam's Club membership because their gas at Sam's Club is like 50 cents cheaper than everywhere else. So even with like the points that I use with like the gas and grocery store that I go to, I feel like Sam's Club will probably be an even better discount. So yeah, um, I'm also eating some yogurt pretzels right now. It was a great day at work today, honestly. Today was kind of like a classroom portion. I think I've said this, I'm in the Periot program and one day a week we have class in person where we learn all about different skills that we will be using in the OR and then three days a week we go in the actual ORs and then one day is a work from home day where we work on modules. So yeah, not really much to update right now. I thought I would show you guys a little casual outfit of the day. My tank top is from Zara and then leggings are Lululemon and then my sandals are actually Gucci. My sweet, sweet boyfriend bought them for me. Um, as like a little gift and I'm just so grateful. I honestly don't have anything Luxury and so I have been wanting these sandals for like three years now So he bought them for me and I'm just yeah, I'm just wearing them out because why not so Anyways, I think I'm gonna head out right now and I will check in with you guys later on Thursday night Brady and I just got back. We went on an hour long walk tonight. I showered and I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I do to kind of prepare for a shift the next day because I have to get up so early. I really try to do whatever I can to, I'm sorry if you hear him whining every time I turn the camera on, I feel like he does this, but um, I try to minimize my routine in the morning just because if I can let myself get more sleep, I will do just that. So I'm just gonna show you kind of like what I pack for my lunch, how I get my scrubs all laid out and everything like that. So I'm gonna clean up the kitchen first and then I will show you like how I pack my lunch and where I put my scrubs and how I pack my bag up. So we have got everything for lunch all ready to go tomorrow. I am just gonna pack up my bag. I usually just leave my water bottle out here and then I'm gonna put my wallet into my bag here. I've got my Apple Watch that I'm just gonna go plug in. Pardon me, I still have not gotten nightstands so my Apple Watch and my phone just sit up there and charge at night and then like I said I do whatever I can to make my morning routine simpler so I've got my scrubs laid out my socks and my shoes all ready to go like I said I try to do whatever it is to make my morning routine as simple as possible I'm usually so tired in the morning and so anything I can do to be able to get like a couple extra minutes of sleep I try to do but yeah, we have got that done. And then honestly, I'm gonna light this candle just because I threw out the onion that I prepped. It was stinking up my fridge so much and I just could not handle it anymore. Um, and I wasn't using it up fast enough, I feel like. So that was part of the reason. But yeah, I wish that you didn't have to buy like an entire like big onion because I just like don't go through it fast enough. I really don't. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take my vitamins for the night. I will show you guys what I've been taking on a regular basis. So I always take my birth control every night. Um, I usually take that around 6 p.m. And then the two vitamins that I have been religiously taking are, I take this Trader Joe's uh, chewable vitamin C as well as calcium, magnesium, and zinc. Um, I take these just because after I had COVID back in June, I've been struggling a lot with headaches. So um, someone that I work with or my mom works with actually at the urgent care uh, said that she started taking magnesium and it really helped with her COVID headaches. And then in combination obviously with the calcium, zinc, and vitamin C, I honestly, my headaches have gone away almost completely. And I do notice a difference. I've been taking them for about mm, probably 20 days now consistently. 
and I when I moved I actually like didn't take them for like three or four days because they were packed up and I did notice a difference I don't know if that was just because I felt as though it was making the effects that I wanted it to but anyways I've noticed a huge difference um, and I also feel like the magnesium is the type of magnesium that helps you sleep at night so I always take it at night for that reason the other reason I always take my vitamins at night is just because um, they stay in your system a lot longer. I've heard that taking your vitamins at night is better because if you take them in the morning, um, then you start drinking water and you start drinking coffee, whatever it may be, and then your body excretes out the vitamins a lot quicker. So I always take mine at night just because I pretty much go the majority of the night without going to the bathroom and so it gives my body the chance to actually absorb the vitamins and get the full benefit so yeah i don't know if that is completely true it makes sense to me why you would want to obviously have them in your system for longer and not have your body excrete them out so that was my little rant but if you have or are in the market for any good vitamins I would say some of the best things to add to your routine is just like especially vitamin C and zinc as we're going into cold and flu season and yeah I'm gonna stop talking now and take my vitamins <laughs> Brady and I are going to go out for our final evening potty break and then I think we're gonna head to bed how does that sound he doesn't know what to think all right, well, I think I'm gonna end this off here for tonight. It was kind of short and sweet. I just wanted to show you how I put my little routine together to minimize my morning routine just a little bit, but we are going to head to bed. It is currently 9.32, and yeah, I got work early in the morning, so I will check in with you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna end off this vlog here just because I really want to do a weekend in my life this weekend but I wanted to finish off this video Brady and I just got back from our walks I feel like I've kind of been showing pretty much like my night routines or a week in my life at night um, after like a long shift just because um, Obviously for HIPAA reasons, I can't really show like my work day. I wanted to show you guys what I am gonna try and start implementing into my nightly routine. So Liquid IV actually reached out to me asking if I wanted to try out some of their products. Now I have never used their products before, but they've sent me a few of their hydration multiplier flavors. And like I said earlier, I'm really trying to drink more water, especially living in the state of Arizona. We have such a dry state and I feel like I'm always dehydrated. And now that Brady and I are going on two to three mile walks every single night, I really want to up my hydration. So I'm really excited to try out these products. I have heard of Liquid IV, but I've never used them before. So yeah, they sent me a couple different flavors. I have this passion fruit acai berry um strawberry and lemon lime i want to give this acai berry a try tonight um we're gonna see what i think like i said this is a true first impressions i've never used one of their products before so i am excited to give it a try see if it tastes good I just have just a glass of water here and I'm just gonna add it okay and then it looks like it's just clear which is nice because I feel like there's no like artificial dyes or anything in it it is taking a minute to actually dissolve so I'm just gonna stir this for a minute now that it's all stirred up and dissolve I gave it a minute to dissolve actually I'm gonna give it a try Ooh, I really like the acai berry. Wow, I'm actually a really big fan of that one. I usually am like not a fan of like any sort of sugary drinks. I'm not a fan of like a lot of Gatorades and just any sort of like artificial sugary drinks, but I really like how light this one is. Now Liquid IV did send me these products to try. Um, and they also gave me a discount code for you guys if you are interested in trying them. The code is my name, Cassie Freestone. I'll put it on the screen right here. If you guys are interested in trying out any of the flavors that I have, like I said, I have passion fruit, acai berry, 
strawberry and lemon lime. I really like the acai berry. That's one of my favorite flavors of anything though, so I might be a little biased there. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and just seeing a week in my life as an operating room nurse. I am truly just so much happier um, since switching jobs and I just feel like my work-life balance is so much better. I feel like I'm able to post more consistently on here and that is just because I have more time to do so. And yeah, I just feel like I have more time to live my life. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be if I leave tonight?